George and Gracie and Jack will be back in just a moment. In the meantime, here is the reason Gracie's custard disappeared so quickly a little earlier. You'll find it on page 58 of the issue of Life magazine with Ike Eisenhower's wedding picture on the cover. And it'll show you the difference between custard made with ordinary milk and custard made with carnation evaporated milk. Now, actually, as you see on the screen, carnation custard calls for eggs, salt, sugar, uh, vanilla, ingredients that you use in making any custard. As a matter of fact, you even bake carnation custard in the same way. But, oh, what a difference. There we are. You get a richer golden brown color, a smoother, creamier texture, and a far more delicious flavor. What makes it all possible? Well, here is the secret right here. Where ordinarily you would use one half carnation evaporated milk and one half water, this recipe calls for two thirds carnation evaporated milk, and isn't that rich? And one third water. There we are. And there is the secret of the most delicious custard you ever made. It's another carnation cooking miracle. Now, the reason carnation performs these miracles is that carnation is more than double rich in butter fat and milk solids. That means extra richness in any cooking that calls for milk. So you try this carnation custard tomorrow. Remember, too, that carnation is heat refined, gives you better blending of your other ingredients, and improves their flavor. So you must try this custard tomorrow and use carnation in your cooking every day. You'll appreciate the difference in richness and in flavor. And now here's carnation's own.